Sir Bruce Joseph Forsyth Johnson CBE, commonly known as Bruce Forsyth, is an English television presenter and entertainer whose career spans 74 years. In 2012, the Guinness World Records recognized Forsyth with having the longest television career for a male entertainer. Forsyth came to national attention from the mid-1950s through the ITV series Sunday Night at the London Palladium. Since then he has hosted series such as The Generation Game, Play Your Cards Right, The Price is Right and You Bet. He co-presented Strictly Come Dancing from 2004 to 2013. Forsyth is known for his catchphrase, Nice to see you, to see you nice. Early life, Forsyth was born in Edmonton, Middlesex, the son of Florence Ada and John Thomas Forsyth Johnson. His family owned a car repair garage in Victoria Road, Edmonton, and as members of the Salvation Army his parents played brass instruments and his mother was a singer. His great-grandfather Joseph Forsyth Johnson was a landscape architect who worked in Russia, Ireland and the United States. His great-great-great-great-grandfather William Forsyth was a founder of the Royal Horticultural Society in the namesake of the plant genus Forsythia. Boy Bruce, the Mighty Atom, Forsyth attended the Latimer School. After watching Fred Astaire in films at age eight, he trained in dance in Tottenham and then Brixton. He started in show business aged 14, with a song, dance, and accordion act called Boy Bruce, the Mighty Atom. His first appearance was at the Theatre Royal in Bilston, with the great Marzo at the top of the bill. Forsyth made his television debut in 1939 as a child, singing and dancing on a talent show introduced by Jasmine Bly, probably an episode of Come and Be Televised, broadcast from Ad Olympia. Forsyth continued to perform through the Second World War, in which his brother John was killed as a pilot in the Royal Air Force at Turnberry, Scotland. Post-war work, after the war, with the goal of joining Moss Empire's theatres, he spent years on stage with little success and travelled the UK working seven days a week doing summer seasons, pantomimes and circuses, where he became renowned for his strongman act. In 1958 an appearance with the comedian Dickie Henderson led to his being offered the job of company of Val Parnell's weekly TV variety show, Sunday Night at the London Palladium. He hosted the show for two years, followed by a year's break, then returned for another year. His schedule of stage performances, which continued throughout the 1960s, forced him to give up the job of host. In the musical film Star, a biopic of stage actress Gertrude Lawrence, he played alongside lead performer Julie Andrews as Lawrence's father. In 1976 he appeared on The Muppet Show where he took on the famous duo of Stater and Waldorf. In January 1968 Pie Records issued as a single I'm Backing Britain, supporting the campaign of the same name, written by Tony Hatch and Jackie Trent and sung by Forsyth. The chorus included the feeling is growing, so let's keep it going, the good times are blowing our way. All involved in making the single took cuts in their fees or royalties so that the single sold for fives, instead of the going rate of sevens. For a one-half D. Forsyth happily endorsed the campaign, saying the country has always done its best when it is up against the wall. If everyone realizes what we are up against we can get out of trouble easily. However, the song did not make the charts. It sold only 7,319 copies. Game show host, during his spell of hosting Sunday night at the London Palladium as part of the show he hosted the 15-minute game show Beat the Clock. Forsyth's next success was Bruce Forsyth and the Generation Game which proved popular and attracted huge Saturday evening audiences. It was on this show that Forsyth introduced his The Thinker pose, emulating Rodin's sculpture, appearing in silhouette each week after the opening titles. This pose is reminiscent of the circus strongman attitude. He also wrote and sang the theme for the show Life is the Name of the Game. He left the BBC in 1978 to present Bruce Forsyth's Big Night, which was also transmitted on Saturday evening, but on rival broadcaster ITV. However, the show was not a success and lasted for just one series. He was replaced on the Generation Game by Larry Grayson. Forsyth remained with ITV, hosting the game show Play Your Cards Right, 
which was the UK version of the US original Card Sharks. In 1986, he went to the United States to host a game show on ABC, Bruce Forsyth's Hot Streak, which ran for 65 episodes from January to April that year. Forsyth starred in the Thames television sitcom Slinger's Day in 1986 and 1987, a sequel to Tripper's Day which had starred Leonard Rossiter, whom Forsyth replaced in the new show. His television appearances since the 1960s have included variety, comedy and light entertainment shows. He was the original host of You Bet. Before the show reached mainstream success under the stewardship of Matthew Kelly, Forsyth fronted the third version of The Price is Right. Forsyth's unsuccessful game shows include Takeover Bid, Hollywood or Bust, Bruce's Gas Night and Didn't They Do Well. During the 1970s Bruce featured in the Stork Margarine adverts on television and then during the 1980s and 1990s he appeared in advertising for the furniture retailer Courts, in which he dressed as a judge. Forsyth celebrated his 70th birthday in 1998 and appeared in a week-long run of his one-man show at the London Palladium, culminating in a 90-minute edition of Sunday Night at the London Palladium Live on ITV. In 2000, Forsyth hosted a series called Tonight at the London Palladium. Career Revival, in 2003, and again in 2010, Forsyth was a guest presenter on the news and satire quiz show, Have I Got News For You. During the first of these appearances, he presented a parody of his Play Your Cards Right format entitled Play Your Iraqi Cards Right. He co-presented Strictly Come Dancing from 2004 to 2013 formally stepping down from hosting the regular live show in April 2014. This decision was made to reduce his workload and for the preparation of pre-recorded specials. On April 7, 2010, Forsyth became one of the first three celebrities to be subjected to the British version of the American Institution of a Comedy Roast, on Channel 4's A Comedy Roast. Forsyth was the subject of the BBC genealogy series Who Do You Think You Are? broadcast on July 19, 2010. On March 20, 2010, Forsyth appeared on the autobiography interview program Piers Morgan's Life Stories which was broadcast on ITV. In 2011 Forsyth released a collection of songs on CD called These Are My Favorites. He chose the songs for their personal and musical importance, including a duet with his granddaughter, Sophie Purdy. These Are My Favorites also includes a recording of Paper Moon with Nat King Cole. Tributes and Honors On February 27, 2005, the BBC screened ABAFTA tribute to Bruce Forsyth to mark the entertainer's 60 years in show business. He had a bronze bust of himself unveiled at the London Palladium in May 2005. The sculpture was created by his son-in-law and is on display in the theatre's Cinderella Bar. Forsyth was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1998 and Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 2006 New Year Honours. His showbiz awards include Variety Club Show Business Personality of the Year in 1975, TV Times Male TV Personality of the Year, in 1975, 1976, 1977 and 1978 and BBC TV Personality of the Year in 1991. In 1987, a fan club was created a Euro the Great Bruce Forsyth Social Club. They would later go on to assist Forsyth in singing his opening number, It's Never Too Late, at his audience with show. He repaid this favor by adding the Society to his busy schedule in June 1997 and appeared at their 10th AGM in Plymouth and also mentioned them in his autobiography. In December 2007, Forsyth's catchphrase, Nice to see you, to see you, nice, was voted the most popular UK catchphrase by the British public. On February 24, 2008, the BBC featured an 85-minute programme, celebrating his 80th birthday, entitled Happy Birthday Britchie. In 2008, Forsyth was made a Fellow of BAFTA. In 2009, he was awarded the Theatre Performers Award at the annual Carl Allen Awards. Hosted by the International Dance Teachers Association, the awards are voted for by the leading dance organizations in the United Kingdom and recognize those who have made an exceptional contribution to the world of dance and theatre.
Forsyth received a Royal Television Society Lifetime Achievement Award on March 17, 2009. On January 26, 2011 he received the National Television Awards Special Recognition Award. Forsyth was made a Knight Bachelor in the 2011 Birthday Honours for Services to Entertainment and Charity. This followed a years-long public campaign to awards him a knighthood. His investiture, by the Queen, took place on October 12, 2011 and he became Sir Bruce Forsyth Johnson CBE. In July 2012, Forsyth was given the honour of carrying the Olympic flame through London, as it finally reached the city on the penultimate day of the London 2012 torch relay. Forsyth earned a place in the 2013 Guinness Book of World Records as the male TV entertainer having had the longest career, calling it a wonderful surprise. Forsyth also appeared at the 2013 Glastonbury Festival on the Avalon stage, becoming one of the oldest performers ever play at the festival. Personal life, from 1953 to 1973, Forsyth was married to Penny Calvert, with whom he had three daughters, Debbie, Julie and Laura. According to his autobiography, he dated Miss World 1964, Anne Sidney, during her reign and in a 2009 interview, Kathy Kirby claimed that she had been Forsyth's lover and that he had proposed marriage. From 1973 to 1979, he was married to Anthea Redfern, the hostess on The Generation Game. They had two daughters, Charlotte and Louisa. Asked to judge the 1980 Miss World competition, he fell in love with fellow judge, the 1975 Miss World, while Amelia Merck from Puerto Rico. They married in 1983, and have one son together. By his six children, he has eight grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Due to his love of golf, his main residence is at the Wentworth Estate adjacent to the Wentworth Golf Course near Virginia Water in northwest Surrey. A childhood supporter of Arsenal, when the team's stadium was taken for air defence searchlights during the Second World War, matches were played at Tottenham Hotspur's White Hart Lane ground, so he became a supporter of both clubs. His daughter Julie was a member of the pop group Guys and Dolls. She later formed the duo Grant and Forsyth with her husband Dominic Grant who had also been a member of Guys and Dolls. Forsyth has his own company, Bruce Forsyth Enterprises Limited, based in Surrey, to run his day-to-day -day monetary affairs. Forsyth is an avid supporter and ambassador for the children's charity, Cordwell Children, regularly appearing at many of their high-profile fundraising events. In August 2014, Forsyth was one of 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to the Guardian opposing Scottish independence in the run-up to September's referendum on that issue. Television and Film, Discography, Singles, 1959, I'm in charge BW So Far So Good, Parlophone, R4535, 1960, I'm a good boy BW My Little Budgie, Parlophone, R4620. 1960, It's Spring Again BW Wave Your Little Handkerchief, Parlophone 4637, 1962, I Like People BW The OB Joyfuls, Piccadilly Records, 7N 38086, 1964, Real Live Girl BW Deep Down Inside, Pi Records, 7N 15744, 1965, Hush, Hush. Sweet Charlotte B.W. Don't Say Goodbye, Pi Records, 7N 15879, 1968, I'm Backing Britain B.W. There's Not Enough Love in the World, Pi Records, 7N 17460, 1973, Didn't He Do Well B.W. Life is the Name of the Game, Phillips Records, 6285, 1978, Love Medley, CBS Records, SCBS 6469, Albums, 1973, The Musical Side of Bruce, Pi Records, NSPL. 18405, References. External links, Bruce Forsyth at the Internet Movie Database, Traveler, Tom Grundy, Online Forsyth Around the World, Bruce Forsyth 80th Birthday Tribute on ITV.com, Tribute to Forsyth at British Classic Comedy Website. Sir Bruce Forsyth's stunning granddaughter Sophie Purdy is a deadringer for Jennifer Aniston.